What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax and this video is an excerpt of the man down defenses video and in this video we're going to be talking about Duke's hybrid man down defense which combines a five man rotation with a zone when the offense decides to carry from one location to another. Before we get started, make sure to check out the brand new Powlax and PowlaxMasterCoach.com where you can download and print the playbook PDFs that accompany over 50 Powlax videos by becoming a member and supporting this channel. The new site has been streamlined to make navigating, watching, supporting, and downloading the Powlax content simple and straightforward. We also broadened our membership categories to allow annual and program-wide memberships. Also, make sure to check out the Powlax Teespring store, where you can get Powlax hoodies, t-shirts, tank tops, mugs, even phone cases, and you can customize them to fit your team's colorway. Finally, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow Powlax on all these social media sites. Now let's get back to the video. Duke's hybrid man down defense combines a five man rotation on perimeter passes and then zones in whatever formation the players are in if an offensive player decides to carry from one position to another. Now, the reason why we would use any type of hybrid man down defense is because as an offense sees how a defense is reacting, they're starting to think like, okay, where are we going to find our looks? And let's say, you know, they're in a five man rotation. So when the ball's top center, they know that they're going to have a 3v2 on the bottom. Now, if we decide to zone, if they're doing a four man wheel, like we'll see in a minute, right as that happens, once this player gets the ball, now there's only going to be two players high. And so it will mess with the looks that the offense is thinking is going to come. Now, it doesn't always work extremely well sometimes it you know doesn't work at all because we're man down we've got less players anyway but so the whole idea of creating an action of switching from one defensive philosophy to the other will put the offense in a position where they have to react to us rather than us reacting to them now in order to show you duke's hybrid man down defense we're going to show you a complete series of a duke versus unc game where unc is going to run an initial motion which isn't really an initial motion. It's basically all of the players are lining up in places that they wouldn't normally be so that they can then, at a certain point, everybody moves and they kind of probe the defense, but it's not the play they're actually looking for. You know, they might find one or two things here, but it's not what they're actually trying to do. They're really trying to force the defense to move into ways where they're not as good as they would be when they're just set. And then they're going to actually run their real play, which is a four man top wheel. And so what we'll see is UNC will swing the ball. They'll do their initial motion. They'll swing the ball again, and then they'll run a four man top wheel, which is one of my favorite man up plays because it allows for so many different looks depending on what the defense does and it'll really show how and why it makes reading harder if the defense changes what they're doing and so we're going to start with a3 having the ball and a3 is going to pass to a1 as he makes that pass d2 moves out to play him and then dm1 kind of spiders in but, but we're all good here then a1 is going to pass back to a3 dm1 is going to move back out d2 will move back in and now we're gonna do a quick swing, A3 to M3, M3 to M2, M2 to M1. Now, as this happens, we gotta see our five man rotation. So DM1 spiders in, the LSM comes up, D3 comes over, D2 comes up, and then D1 is kind of getting out here because if the pass goes again, he's gonna have to get down to A1. And as this happens, DM1 is getting inside to play A2. And the LSM is actually kind of gonna get back down towards the back pipe because if the ball goes down here, he has to be covering the back pipe. Now, once the ball hits M1, UNC is gonna run their initial motion, which is M1 is gonna carry from top right to top center. M2 is going to cut from top center to the left pipe. A3 is going to move to the crease with a nice little crease cut, and then A2 is going to float out behind the dodge. Now, as UNC makes all these movements, Duke is going to zone. And so, as M1 carries from top right to top center, he D2 is actually going to pass him off and kind of stay in here and play A2. Uh, D3 is going to move up to play the ball. The LSM is kind of going to move back up to play the possible next pass after he kind of like passes off M2. DM1 kind of sits inside and stays here playing A3 and M2 on his cut. And then A1 kind of gets into this back pipe. And so D1 kind of comes up to play in space here as the ball is moving towards top center. But so they immediately go into their zone and that's going to mess up any look that they would have. But I really don't think UNC was actually looking for that. But so now UNC is going to swing the ball. Now, after their initial motions, M1 is going to throw the ball to M3, down to M2, and then back up 
to M3. Now, as this happens, once the passes start again, now we are in our five-man rotation. So on this first pass, the LSM is going to move out to play M3. On the second pass, D1 is going to spider in to cover the crease. D2 is going to get down. DM1 is going to go play M2. The ball is going to be passed right back up. And now the LSM is going to, on the, on the pass down, the LSM is going to move in, and then he's going to come back out to play the ball. Now, as you see this, there's now kind of no zone, right? You can see that they're rotating. And the key is to watch D2 on the backside because if D2 is in a zone that's top right, he's going to kind of come in to play A3 and so will D3. But because he's not in a zone, he's got to get back down to this pipe because if you imagine a five-man rotation moving, the way you recognize the rotation is the backside. Like at the ball, it should be pretty still. There should be a player who's playing the ball. But on the backside, they should be switching players all the time. Once they're done with that short swing, now they're going to run their four-man top wheel. So M3 is going to carry to top center. M1 is going to fade to top right. A1 is going to cut the middle to the crease. And A3 is going to float out behind the ball carrier. Now, as this happens, Duke goes back into their zone. And we're kind of going to see where it can kind of mess Duke up a little bit because you'll see players showing and then trying to get back because they're, they kind of recognize a little bit late kind of what is happening. But as you'll see, the first thing is the LSM kind of plays him, but then D3 makes him pass off. And now the LSM immediately kind of gets back. Now, at this point, you see DM1 kind of show up like he should be the one to rotate up to A3 using five-man rotation rules, but then he immediately kind of gets back down. Now, for our other players, now D2 actually will have to fill this zone up top. So as M1 fades and D3 leaves him, D1 has to rotate up to play M1 on his fade. Now. Um, D1 is our final player, and as this player vacates his place on the crease and the LSM covers him and DM1 kind of rotates up to cover him, now D1 would be kind of alone or picking up A2, and he ends up kind of drifting back here to the back pipe so that all of the perimeter places are covered. Now, for this, I say that Duke runs a zone, but for the most part when they're rotating in their five-man rotation principles, they're gonna end up in some kind of house formation. That's what I see most of the time, but other times, depending on where the, the movement starts from, it can look like a box in one zone, but it kind of just depends on the shape of the offense, but the rules maintain and stay the same. Now, once UNC's four-man wheel is over and they begin passing again, now Duke moves back to their five-man rotation, and so, as the ball hits top center with M3, he kind of sees that A3 is open as the motion is going, and so he passes right back. Now, DM1 here shows, which doesn't give him any room, and then the LSM gets back to play him, and so he ends up passing the ball right back to M3, who kind of comes over towards his side. Now, as the motion happened and M3 carried and everything kind of rotated, A2 came into the middle, and D1 kind of sloughed off of him. And so A2 did a great thing where he actually then was kind of cutting up back towards the ball as the ball moved down and then back up. He kind of went down through this way. And so the ball is then fed inside. These players crash on him, but he does have enough time to get a nice shot off. And as he shoots it, the ball is saved by the Duke goalie and then Duke ends up clearing. But so the entire idea of this defense and having the hybrid style can work really well. You obviously are going to give up some some good shots here and there, but for cerebral teams that are kind of expecting specific looks to happen, if you do switch up what you're doing, it can have a good impact on your man down defense like Duke shows by running this hybrid. As we watch through the example, we're going to focus in on how Duke changes their strategy based on what UNC is doing. So as we begin the clip, the ball moves from back left to back right, then back to back left, top left, top center, top right. Now, notice how Duke uses the five-man rotation, and the player that we can really notice this with is this player here. Notice how as the ball swings around the field, he leaves from playing the player who is back right and ends up playing the player who is top right. Now, this would not happen if they were in a zone during this time. 
Now, as the ball is carried from top right to top center and UNC runs their initial motion, notice how everybody is passing. The player in the two zone decides to pass off the cut, he ends up coming up to play the ball, and everybody else is just in their zone, covering up as much as they can, but they're passing off everything. Now, once the ball moves again, we're back into our man-to-man -man concept. So the ball moves from top center to top left, to side left, back to top left. Then once the ball hits top left and they begin their four-man top wheel, they immediately go back into a zone, everybody is passing off, and because of how they passed off so quickly and the player in the 1L zone fell off so quickly, the throwback that UNC made was totally negligible. Now, once the ball swings again, they're back into their man-to-man. -man. The ball is passed inside, and they get a pretty good shot out of it that ends up being saved. But the key here is that our looks are going to be different because we are switching up the strategy we're using on man down, depending on what the offense is doing. Covering Duke's hybrid man down defense doesn't always mean they were successful. Here, UNC is running the exact same play we just covered except for this time they score. Here is their initial motion to begin the set. They move the ball, move it again, the ball comes back up top, now they run their four man top wheel, and these two passes during the wheel actually make it so they have to stay in the five man rotation, which means they have to rotate, they find the two to four skip pass, and they score. The key here is that this is just another type of man down defensive hybrid that we can run if we have players who have the ability to recognize what the offense is doing. In this clip, Duke uses their hybrid defense against Loyola. Loyola starts out in a 2-3-1 and then rotates into a 3-3. As they rotate, Duke passes off all of the players in their zone concept, then as the ball starts to swing in the 3-3, they go back to their man-to-man -man principles. As the ball swings, they find a soft spot inside, the ball's passed to the crease, shot is taken, he misses wide. It was definitely a good look, one that we'll often see when a 3-3 meets a five-man rotation. Now, as the ball restarts back right and the ball swings to top center, Duke is more cognizant of the player on the crease, they spider in a little bit too far and the ball is skipped from the two to the six zone and Loyola scores. Overall, the idea that we are going to rotate on passes and then hold our zone as teams run wheels is a great concept that I think can be used as early as high school. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. I hope that after watching this, you feel more competent about how you understand man down defense and feel that you can make the best decision for your team. Make sure to check out the brand new PallaxMasterCoach.com where you can now watch, support, and download all of the Palax content. We're kind of getting away from the Patreon third party stuff. I built an entire website dedicated to all of the Palax content that you can now actually support for $5 a month and download all of the content in a much easier to navigate and view way. So definitely check out PallaxMasterCoach.com. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, check out the Palax Teespring store where you can buy a bunch of Palax merch and show your support in your local community. Finally, make sure to follow Palax on all types of social media. We've got a TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. We like to post at least once a day, maybe twice. Sometimes we kind of miss a day here or there either way. But so make sure to follow us on all of social media to stay involved. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one.